Hi Sashies, welcome to my channel, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a timeless reading for you guys. So let's see what's coming through for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Welcome to the Pisces Club, this is a channel dedicated to bombarding the Pisces Collective with tons of readings every weekend of um, October and on daily basis as well. So you never run out of messages and guidance from the Divine, okay? What else do I need to tell my Pisces? Oh, we have sale on the website again. I know that many of you missed out last time, so don't let that happen again. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> so please, just if you're going to buy anything, do it now. Don't forget, because I don't want to hear the messages again. I don't want to receive the tens of messages saying, Oh my God, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Okay, I'm opening this sale for you guys, for the ones that missed it, so don't miss it again, okay, please. The sale is basically all of my online courses at $24.99, as opposed to the regular prices that are like $179 and stuff like that. So yeah, and, okay, let's get started. Okay. <laughs> Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Nine of Pentacles, first card coming up. I always take the cards that fall on the table and I take them upright, just so you know. Also, the reason why I do so many readings on the weekends is precisely because not everything is going to resonate with you. And I want everybody to have as many options as possible to find that perfect reading that really resonates, right? That is why I post so much. Also, because apparently it's really helping the channel get more subscribers, so that's good. That is excellent. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Pisces, you have gone through a very powerful transformation in which you have sort of like, sort of like, embodied the feminine energy of manifestation and not only the masculine of hard work it's like you know that hard work works right and your discipline and your perseverance and you can do everything that you need to do and you can work hard and enjoy it but it's like you also know exactly where and when to rest when to listen to your body when to listen to your energy and when your intuition may be guiding you to actually not work hard. It's like a, it's a, like a balancing act that you are or have recently mastered. It takes a lot of wisdom to know when not to push. It takes a lot of wisdom to know when to surrender and when not to surrender, right? Because there's two perspectives to that. Some people would say, always surrender. Surrender to the flow of life. Let everything flow as it needs to. Allow the universe to deliver you wherever you're supposed to go. But there's other people that would say, never surrender. You know what I mean? Like, never let life um, take you away from your, from your dreams. Never let exhaustion stop you. And there is validity in both perspectives. So it seems like you are in a very balanced way, manifesting that energetic harmony inside of you. And moving forward with both perspectives, with both perspectives, guiding you in a balanced way towards where you want to go. And you're taking charge and you're moving forward, knowing when to push and knowing when to flow, when to surrender and when not to surrender. And that has made you very powerful. 
extraordinarily powerful. In a very calm, stable way, too. So I see a water sign here, Pisces, and I see an air sign. This could be a dynamic that you've had in the past, a friendship, a family member. Take it as it resonates for you. But I see you. Wow. Damn. Definitely. Definitely a water sign. Look at this. King of Cups, which is associated with Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, right? Because of the suit of cups. Chariot, Cancer. High Priestess, which for me is Pisces. And Death, Scorpio. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Double, you know? Maybe someone here watching this video is all three. Maybe um, in your natal chart, you're something like Pisces Sun and Scorpio Ascendant and Moon in Cancer or something like that, right? That obviously is not going to resonate for all of you. But I do see that your strength is very... It's very soothing, stable, grounded. It's not obvious. It's not something that's in your face. It's not aggressive. It's not overpowering. But it is unbreakable. It is unshakable. Un indestructible or undestructible, however you say that. And no one can beat you, Pisces. It's crazy how strong you are at this time. And there seems to be someone around you who is more of a, could be an air sign, but it doesn't have to be. Could be more of a, I am so strong, I am so aggressive, I'm gonna make it happen, I am gonna be the one that beats everybody. And it's funny because they have this like super, super different energy that brings in conflict and burden and stress and tension and speed and, you know, it's like brutal force. And next to them, it's you who have spiritual strength or force. You know, it's, it's different. Some of you guys may be perhaps friends. And they analyze how you manifest through your wisdom. And they see what they do. And they're like, huh. You know, it's very interesting. Or maybe it's you. You are identifying your manifestation process and you see them and you're like, that's just so interesting. Because you also focus on the results that you are getting versus the results that they are getting. And that triggers some kind of analysis, let's say. Some kind of contemplation in someone. Could be you, could be them. Someone thinks that you don't have any fun. <laughs> someone here think, could be the, the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be someone around you. But someone here justifies your success by saying, well, Pisces, yeah, Pisces is very disciplined. Pisces does everything right. You know, they get everything they want because they work really hard. But they don't have any fun. They don't enjoy their life. So it's like they kind of justify their own laziness or distraction in the pursuit of their, their goals by saying that they live a more balanced life because they have fun. But this is just some kind of like weird excuse that they're telling themselves to feel better about the fact that they are not getting what they are intending to get. They're not manifesting what they want. It makes them feel better for some reason. Like, when they see you, Pisces, and they see someone very abundant, financially stable, or on the way to, they're like, oh, look at Pisces, look at that, they have so much, they, they, they seem like they're really comfortable. But I bet that's just a facade, because they have to work their ass off every single day, they have to be so overburdened in order to get that kind of success. That's, that's, why they, why they, <laughs> that's what they tell themselves. They think that to be in your level of manifestation or to achieve their dreams like you are, it, were, it would demand from them that they give up all the fun in their life. And that honestly has nothing to do with it. <laughs> I don't see how you know that makes sense, but 
it really makes sense to them. So it's like they're choosing mediocrity or they're choosing not to reach their goals or they're choosing to stay small because they have somehow told themselves that it's just too hard. Achieving what they want is just too hard. Too much sacrifice and they're not willing to put in that kind of energy. It's just something they kind of tell themselves. But here you are, Pisces, like actually enjoying a lot. Enjoying the work that you put into things, the process, and also enjoying the destination, the comforts. You're actually very emotionally fulfilled here, so it's, it's kind of interesting. It's like something they tell themselves to feel better. Maybe they tell themselves, like, oh, I couldn't, I, I wouldn't want to try to keep up with the rhythm that Pisces is going at. Like, maybe they see that you go too fast, or you work too efficiently, or too productively, or that you burn a lot of bridges to get ahead, or that you don't have many friends. I don't know, something like that. And they're like, you know what, it's not worth it to me. Like, they would rather have friends, even if they're toxic. They would rather have a lot of social time and downtime. And also they would rather not manifest their dreams. Basically, they're choosing their comfort zone. Basically. Who are we dealing with here, Pisces? This is a millennial oracle. It's super funny. I hope that you enjoy this kind of sense of humor. Who is here? Like, who are we dealing with? Could you... Um, Spirit, please give us a little bit of a description of these characters. Okay, we've got the Social Justice Warrior and Brunch. I'm getting a feeling that the Social Justice Warrior could be you, Pisces, but it could be someone else. Qualities. Innocent, empathetic, privileged, judgmental. You protect others from the injustices your parents sheltered you from. Is your effort to police ignorance in service of those on the front line or fuel for the delusion that you are a good person. Pisces, do you have any kind of need to prove yourself in the world that you're a good person? I used to have that a lot. Like, a lot. I would always try to do the right thing. Even like in the privacy of my mind, I would always, 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 always do the nice thing, the kind thing, the more compassionate thing, always be the bigger person, yada, yada, yada. And then I realized that I can still be a good person and be a bitch at the same time. <laughs> and I know that's not going to resonate with all of you. Please don't take me wrong. It's just that sometimes when, you, when we try to be too perfect, too kind, too compassionate, we actually don't say what we're feeling and we repress a whole lot and that then translates into resentment and a lot of crap, okay? So, you know, it's always good to be a good person as long as you're authentic, that's what I'm trying to say. Then we've got brunch. Sustenance, abundance, life, celebration. Description. Bloody Mary, mother of Christ, savior of hungover bodies. <laughs> Will avocado toast and bottomless mimosas suspend Sunday scaries or leave you regretfully unproductive and in the need of a nap? <laughs> okay, I honestly feel like that is actually very um, resonant to the energy of the Nine of Pentacles, believe it or not. So maybe um, you are enjoying this kind of luxuries. Maybe these kind of things are a side, like a byproduct of the hard work that you've been doing as a social social warrior of some sort. Maybe you help people. Maybe you do make a difference, a big one. And maybe you like to reward yourself with things that make you feel good. Things that you can enjoy. Good times. But in the way that resonates with you. Which maybe is not the same way that resonates for another person could be this person involved. Who else is here? Talk to us about the other person. Talk to us about the other person. The soul cyclist. Okay. Healthy, gluten-free, lavish, and sweaty. 
Through the trance of rhythmic pedaling, you make inner progress without actually going anywhere. Are you sweating to cleanse your inner critic or to better define your thigh gap? That may be relevant for some of you. I don't know. I don't see how this applies, but it's coming through, so, you know, we'll take it. Okay, one more. Who else could be involved? Maybe, maybe someone here in this dynamic, that other person who says, you know, I'm not gonna... Oh, okay. Okay, um, someone here... This could be, like, interchangeable, right? You could be someone who is perseverant and does the work that needs to be done. In this case, in this case they're speaking about eating healthy and exercising. But ultimately, that translates to doing what you feel like you want to do, you need to do, to get to your goal. And the other person is kind of righteous, right? Like, self-righteous. So what I'm feeling here is that Pisces, maybe you are this soul cyclist sometimes, and you just do what you have to do in order to get your goal. And maybe the other person here is like all kind to your face and stuff, but they're like, you know, I'm not gonna put in that kind of work. I'd rather be fat in this case, or I'd rather be unhealthy in this case, because we're talking about exercise and food and stuff. Yeah, and they actually rather have their brunch, you know, they, ra they would rather have their social time, their drinks, their mimosas, their friends, being hungover, they appreciate that more than uh, what you're doing, Pisces, which is working for things in a very consistent basis. I can't believe we actually draw the parallel between these cards. I thought they didn't make any sense initially. Anything else before we close up the universe? Anything else? A yoga instructor. This could be you, this could be the other person. Flexible, spiritual, but not religious, possibly vegan. Namaste, you tofu spirit. <laughs> you strive to become centered in this new age of certified lo lotus posing warriors, energy healers, and gamified meditation techniques. What are the traditions you are neglecting to consider? You will probably find this person in an ayahuasca ceremony. And their totem is a meditation app. <laughs> it's funny because it's really fucking accurate. <laughs> it is. Okay, Pisces, this is what I have for you today. If this reading wasn't your reading, that's perfectly fine. Know that there's a ton of readings waiting for you in my channel um, based on all the readings I've been posting on the weekends of this month. The Pisces marathons on the weekends. The sale is on, you guys. Abundance Blueprint Course to heal your relationship with money once and for all. It's just $24.99. The Past Life Regression Course to get to know a little bit about your soul journey and heal possible very stubborn blocks. $24.99. <laughs> and the Shamanic Journey Series to learn how to connect to animal spirit guides. $24.99. Everything is $24.99. <laughs> For a very limited time, I don't want to hear that you guys got left out of the offer. <laughs> so if you want to buy anything, buy it now, okay? I love you guys. I don't mean to be rude, but it's just that last time, I was like, okay, I'm going to close it. And then I received like <gasps> so many messages of you guys. Like, I, I, I wanted to buy it. I saw it, but I never did. It's like, no. I don't think I'm going to do this again, so please, 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 <laughs> um, yeah, that sounds so rude, like, I shouldn't say it like that. I am eternally grateful for anyone who even considers getting any of the courses. That is true, but it is also true that I don't want to receive those messages this time around, okay? <laughs> I love you fishies, I love you so much, I'll see you in the next reading. And make sure that you're subscribed. And all the things that I say in all the videos. <laughs> Bye guys.